Hey there everybody, Mental Fox here. Let's play Red Dead Redemption 2. This game just was released just a few minutes ago and uh, people who downloaded it digitally like myself uh, are finally able to play it. Uh, it looks like a lot of other people are already playing it. I'm not sure how they how they did that, but uh, it just unlocked for me. I'm playing it on my PS4. I played uh, the first game on my Xbox 360 years ago. Uh, I don't remember the story. Uh, well, I kind of, I guess I kind of do remember the main character and what happened to him after that. So, uh, hopefully you've already seen or played Red Dead Redemption. I can't imagine why you would want to watch this if you haven't played the first game. Although this game is a prequel, my understanding is that the events in this game take place before the events in the first Red Dead Redemption game. And that's pre pretty much all I know about this game. I like to go into games as blind as possible. <laughs> it's just how I like to do it. Uh, I don't like to be spoiled about anything. As a matter of fact, I'm not too happy that I did accidentally hear that this is a prequel, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and press the X button here and get into the story of Red Dead Redemption 2. Thanks for joining me. I hope that you have a good time following along with me as I play this game that, uh, let's face it, it's going to be awesome. Abigail says he's dying, Dutch. We'll have to stop someplace. Okay. Arthur's out looking. I sent him up ahead. Uh. If we don't stop soon, we'll all be dying. This weather, it's May. I'm just hoping the law got as lost as we did. There. Oh. Arthur! Any luck? I found a place where we can get some shelter. Let Davy rest while he, you know, an old man in town, abandoned. It ain't far. Come on. Come on! Yeah! Bring him in here! <clears throat> Miss Gaskell, get that fire lit quick. Miss Jones, bring in whatever blankets we have. Mr. Pearson, see what we've got in terms of food. Davy's dead. There was nothing more you could have done. What are we gonna do? We need supplies. 
Well, first of all, you're gonna stay here, and you were gonna get yourself warm. Now, I sent John and Mike scouting out ahead. Arthur and I, we're gonna ride out, see if we can find one of them. And this? Just for a short bit. And I don't see what other choice we have. Listen. Listen to me, all of you, for a moment. Now, we've had, well, a bad couple of days. I loved Davy, Jenny, Sean, Mac. They may be okay. We don't know. But we lost some folks. Now, if I could throw myself in the ground, in their stead, I'd do it, gladly. But we are going to ride out, and we are going to find some food. Everybody, we're safe now. There ain't nobody following us through a storm like this one. And by the time they get here, well, we're going to be, we're going to be long gone. We've been through worse than this before. Mr. Pierce, Miss Grimshaw, I need you to turn this place into a camp. We may be here for a few days. Now, all of you, all of you, get yourselves warm. Stay strong. Stay with me. We ain't done yet. Come on, Arthur. All right. We've got some work well, to do. We ain't run into them yet, so they both must have headed down the hill. Sure. Hey, I ain't had time to ask. What really went down back there on that boat? We missed you. That's what happened. Come on. Oh. Hey, you need horses? Oh, yeah. Hey, Mr. Smith. Get yourself indoors. You need to rest that hand. I'll live. Get indoors, son. I... We need you strong. Okay. <laughs> the first thing I noticed was that that guy doesn't even have any gloves on. <laughs> the dude that was with the horses. <laughs> They've done a good job of making it look like it is really, really cold. This is some nasty weather. So I said it was May. I don't know where they are. I don't think it said. I, I know it said it was 1899, but I don't think it said where they are. Other than, you know, out west. Uh, where would it be snowing like this in uh, May? I don't know. Um, lots of places and mountains. Uh, but they're close to water, I guess, because they had said, you know... This guy asked the other guy, hey, what happened on that boat back there? Bridge coming up. Take it easy. Take it easy. Is this a bridge? Where's a bridge? Yeah, I guess this is a little bridge. Slow my horse down. Whoa. You're already going pretty slow. I didn't feel like I needed to slow it down that much. Catch up with this guy. Can't believe we lost Davy, too. He's the last one, Arthur. No more. We need to get those people warm and fed. At least we don't need to worry about Pinkerton's tailing us in this. Uh, a couple more days, we'll be on the other side. You need to help me pick the others back up. You're the only one I can rely on to stay strong right now. We got fire and shelter. That's a start. So we could talk to Dutch by holding or pressing L2. Uh, what about the money, or was it a trap? Was it a trap? So, do you think it was a trap in Blackwater? That many men? Oh, they knew we were coming. There was money on that boat, all right. Lots of it. I stashed what we took with all our money in town right before we fled. Hey, I think I see something up the path. Mm, his eyes are better than mine. I don't see anything yet. Oh, okay, back to cutscene. You up ahead. Who's there? Mm. 
Micah. Gentlemen, found anything? I think so. Found a little homestead down that way. Okay. Anyone home? Sure. Place is blazing with light and noise. Sounded like a party. Let's go see. Follow me. <clears throat> How's Davy doing? Well, he didn't make it. Nor did little Jenny. That's too bad. Davy was a real fighter. Both of them calendar boys is. Er, <laughs> was. Yeah. And Mac, Sean. We don't know. Quite a business. I'm glad you're all right, Micah. Always. Ask him if he's seen John. Hey, have you seen John, Micah? Didn't see much of anything once this storm came in. He hasn't seen him. <laughs> He'll be fine. Things always turn out right for that boy. I hope Mac and Sean are still out there somewhere, too. Hey, Arthur, let me take the rear. You move up. Watch out. Let me take the rear. You move up. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's talk to Micah. Are you sure about this? You run into anybody else? You run into anybody else? I, I reckon we're the only ones crazy enough to be out in this, Morgan. Yeah, well, don't talk to me about crazy. Oh, so no, glad you're all right. I was worried, Micah. Look, it's all gonna work out, Morgan. We lost a few folks, but that's just how it goes sometimes. Well, I'm glad you're feeling so good about it. Where are all the others? Old mining camp, back up the hill. It ain't much, but shelter. So, this house, you speak to the people there already? No. Like Dutch told us, look, but don't talk to no one. Just following orders, you know me. Right. Okay, let's talk to him out further. How much further? Not far. What does that mean? Not far. <laughs> mm, thanks. Oh, goddamn, this snow gets right to the bone. It's actually the wind that does that. So, I think these guys are outlaws, and they're running from the law. Pinkerton's is the law, right? Okay. Let's keep it down now, gentlemen. It's just up ahead. Snuff and stash those lanterns, boys. Best you two lie low on this. Okay. Let's head down there. Okay. Oh, we're not going down that way. Health is displayed in the lower left corner. Okay. Doesn't look like we're all that healthy. I've always liked uh, Rockstar Games' maps. The outer bar shows your remaining health. The level of the inner core influences how quickly your health refills. Okay. Approach the Hishik posts. We hear other people talking. Um, where are Hishik posts? This is a rock. Okay, this looks like a rock to me, but whatever. I can, I can hitch my horse to this rock. This Let horse belongs to talk. Micah. Okay. We don't want to scare these folks. All right, let's follow Dutch. Someone's the having fun in there. I've heard a lot of names already. You two, get yourself out of sight. One lonely man is a lot less intimidating than three nasty-looking degenerates. Arthur, in that cattle shed on the left. Micah, get down behind that wagon in front. Okay. So, I mean, I've heard a lot of names. I've heard Dutch, I've heard Arthur, Arthur I've heard Micah, I've heard Morgan. Uh, Davy's the one who died. Arthur, what are you doing? I said get out of sight. All right, hold on. I'm out of sight. Jeez. Okay, I'm out of sight. Uh, Hello? Okay. Excuse me. Hello. Oh, well. Hello, friend. What you want? I am very sorry. 
to disturb you. Uh, my friends and I, well, we got into some trouble up the way, lost in the storm. Where's Micah? Ah, uh, gentlemen. Oh, there he is. I can't help you, mister. I got folks. Arthur. Dying on the trail. Arthur, we got a problem. <laughs> what? Folks. There's a corpse right here. Oh. Now, I, I just Arthur. need some... There's a body food in the wagon. Uh, I hear you. Just Protect just Dutch. Keep your eyes on Dutch. Please. See who's Dutch. I think you should go now, buddy. Model two to aim. Oh! Over there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I'm shooting people now. Oh, I gotta reload. Uh, okay. Okay, he's down. I can't move along the the wall here, which is pretty annoying. Well, this guy's taking a beating. Run after the outlaw. Okay. I don't know where he went, though. Um, where is he? Okay. Okay. Can I like search these bodies? I want to search bodies. Oh, there's a gun there. No. Oh. No, well, let's search the cabin, I guess. Smells like a party in here. Turn the place upside down. Grab as many supplies as you can. We need the essentials. Food, medicine, whiskey. Okay. Hold square near items to pick them up while searching the house. Okay. Um uh -huh. Yep. What items am I picking up? I don't believe it. It's a strange one, all right. Uh, Maybe baked beans. Okay, There's canned fruits. All right. Cole Driscoll's head. Nearly as big as the one on yours. Wanting Colm dead is about the only thing me and Uncle Sam agree on. Oh, I'm starving. So you should eat something now. Get your strength up for the ride back. Okay. Uh. Open my satchel. Okay. Eat something. Eat a provision to restore some health core. Um, well, I mean, just open one of these up and just start eating it. Peaches sounds pretty good. Uh, eat. Different items have different health effects, or different effects. Eating food will refu refuel your health core. We could maybe move the women and Jack down here. Maybe. We'll see how they are when we get back. I don't really want us to split up. Okay. Um, I guess I'm still searching for stuff. It's not. This is moving. This is all moving very fast. Let's go up here. I don't know what we're looking for, really. If anything, take classic oat cakes. Keep searching while I pack these on the horses. Okay. All right. So I guess anything you think we can use, then meet me out here. Alright. Okay, we're gonna join him outside after we search for supplies. So I guess when I get close to something I could pick up, it just lets me know. Dude walks really, really slow in here. Search cabinet. Mm, take a health cure. Take another one. Well, this is exciting. I guess that's all there is in there. And, you know, I like to close things when I'm done with them. You know, just kind of put things back the way they were when I got them. Or when I got there. Anything in this chest? Let's search in this chest. I'm going to pick up as much stuff as I can. A coin purse. Sure, let's take that. Two dollars and three cents. And that's all there is in that chest. Uh, jewelry. Search a drawer. Got a gold pocket watch. Take some cigarettes. And, uh, Vistas of America card, apparently. 
Inspect card. Mm. Vistas of America card 12. Vistas, sceneries, and cities of America. An illustration of Ansberg. Okay, kind of hard to see. Yep. And there's the back of it. Okay, well, there's the cities that you can collect. I've heard of some of them. I'm looking at a card. Just give me a minute. Yeah. Are we in a hurry or something? I guess it is kind of cold outside. Um, is there anything else in here? Nope, there's not. See the pictures of those old folks on the wall there? Yeah, this dude. He walks really, really slow in here. Examine the photograph. Sure, why not? Hmm. Poor bastard was married to. Toggle view. Okay. Alright. I could look at the back of it. Uh, it says Jake and Sadie wedding. September 4th, 1896. Okay. Yeah. We can uh, look at all kinds of stuff. Kind of hoping there'd be some ammo here. Here's some more classic oat cakes. And, um, I guess that's it. The, uh, our little map there in the lower left-hand corner isn't, uh, yellow anymore, so that would indicate to me that there's nothing left to search in here. Let's go back outside. Arthur, keep looking for stuff. Oh, goody. Arthur, go see if there's anything in that barn. Oh, yay. Okay. Micah, you search the cabin, see what we missed. Sure. I guess this is the barn. Okay, so that's how I crouch. Don't know how to run faster. There we go. Let's go in the barn. I mean, I sure hope that there's nobody in here. Oh, now he gets his gun out. That was a good move. Okay, now we're gonna fight. Yeah, I'm just gonna press this button a bunch of times. What's going on? Oh, did he now? Snaky little bastard. Should I kill him? Should I kill him? Let's talk to this guy. Not yet. Find out what they're doing here and where Colm is. Oh, this son of a bitch will talk. Okay, let's uh let's question him here. Where's Colm O'Driscoll? With the others at an old mining camp southwest of here, near the lake. I interrogate the O'Driscoll. What are you bastards doing? Why are you up here? Uh, we're fixing to rob some train. Gonna blow the tracks. Now, I don't know more than that, I swear. Mm, I don't believe him. <laughs> Well, I would say it looks like you have this, Arthur. Do what you want with him. I don't care. But bring that horse when you're done. Oh. What am I going to do with this guy? I, don't know else. I ain't going to kill him. Get the hell out of here. Go. I probably regret that. I could never play as a bad guy. Pick up your gun. Where's my gun? Let me just mosey on over here and pick this up. And my hat. Gotta have my hat. Oh, now I'll use square to pick that up for some reason. Okay. Focus on the horse. Calm the horse. Easy, okay. e easy horse. Easy. Yeah, calm down. Focus on the horse. Pat the horse. Got a long neck on that horse. Horse bonding achieved, level one. Continuing to bond with your horse increases its trust in you and improves its attributes. All right, come on, horse. Let's go. I'm going to take you over to the hitching post. You belong to me now. You're my horse. Yeah, figured he won't get far in this anyway. That looks like a decent horse. You should keep him. You need to hitch him. He's already skittish. What was wrong with the horse I had? 
It's a good horse. Whoa. Man, that sucks. That was a good place to stay. Oh. You okay, Miss? They came three days ago. And my husband, they... Okay. Miss, you are safe now. And you can't stay here. You come with us. Of course. Miss, it's okay. We're bad men. We ain't them. It's okay. Get on. We'll keep you safe until you figure out what you want to do. What's your name, miss? Miss. Adler. Adler. Sadie Adler. Mrs. I... He... He was my husband. Which one? Oh, I guess the guy in the cart? Okay. I guess that was her house? Was that their house? Hey! Somebody's coming! Looks like it's Dutch. Hey, everybody, Dutch is back! How'd you get on? Uh, Micah found a homestead, but he weren't the first. Colm O'Driscoll and his scum, they beat us to it. Uh, uh, we found some of them there, but there is more about, apparently. Scouting the train. Thank you. That's the last thing we need right now, Dutch. Well, it is what it is. But we found some supplies, some blankets, a little bit of food, and this... Poor soul, Mrs. Adler. Miss Tilly, Miss Karen, would you warm her up? Give her a drink or something. And Mrs. Adler, it's gonna be okay. You're safe now. They turned her into a widow. Animals. I need some rest. I haven't slept in three days. You're over here. Miss O'Shea will show you the way. Mr. Morgan, we put you in a room over here. Thank you, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Bell, you're with the fellas over there. What? Well, how come Arthur gets a room and I get a bunk bed next to <laughs> Bill Williamson and a bunch of darkies? Get yourself to bed. Ain't been seen in days. Weather ain't let up. He's strong. And he's smart. Strong, at least. Hello, Arthur. Abigail. Arthur, how you doing? Just fine, Abigail. And you? I need you to... I I'm sorry. I'm sorry to ask, but... It's little John. He's got himself caught into a scrape again. He ain't been seen in two... Two days. Your John will be fine. I mean, he may be as dumb as rocks and as dull as rusted iron, but that ain't changing because he got caught in some snowstorm. Please go take a look. Javier? Yes. Javier, will you ride out with Arthur <clears throat> to take a look for John? <clears throat> You're the two best fit men we've got. Now? She's... We're all... Yeah, we're pretty worried about him. I know the situation were reversed and he looked for me thank you this way last I know John was headed up the river for all we know 
He kept riding north and never looked back. He wouldn't leave. Not like that. Well, it wouldn't be the first time. Take a look. Let's hope it ain't more of O'Driscoll's boys. Well, it seems somebody left recently. And that way. Sure, well, come on then. Okay, well, here we are back in the cold again. The Gonna follow Javier here. Trying to follow this guy. Let's go. Cross. See, they continue up that way. Poor horses. So cold. You think it's John? You horse health. Me. These are horse tracks for sure, but it could be anyone. Let's just see where they lead. So you were there, Javier. What are you doing? What really happened on that boat? We had the money. It seemed fine. And suddenly they were everywhere. Bounty hunters? No, Pinkertons. It was crazy. Raining bullets. Watch out for this crevice. Dutch killed a girl in a bad way. But it was a bad situation. That ain't like him, though. <laughs> We look down on the crevice. The cliff wall here. Davy got shot. Mac and John, both shot too. Sean, we don't even know. I'm surprised we escaped at all. By the time you boys showed up from the other side of town, we were only just holding on. Bad business, all right. Cinematic camera. Coming in hot again. We'll lose okay. these tracks if we don't move fast. Whoa. Those <laughs> I just I just pressed a, my R2 button accidentally and my guy shot. <laughs> just waking you up. So we're looking for this John guy. Almost there, boy. Come on now. Yes, it's that woman's son, maybe? Or is it her husband? Hey, I'm not look. sure which. Over there. You see that? I don't. I don't see anything. Oh, is that a body? Oh, that's a body. Horse. Riding that horse when we left Blackwater. Let's see if he can hear us. I heard that. Come on, let's go. Come on. Up there. Yeah, I know. I heard it. Let's go. Come on. Come on, Javier. Let's go. I need you to tell me which way to go. Alright, come on, horse. Now my horse isn't going anywhere. Let's go. I don't think we can go much further on the horses. We'll have to walk from here. Okay. I grabbed that shotgun from your horse. Who knows what's up ahead? No, oh, grab the shotgun? Okay, sure, fine. Um... Okay. Well, I've got this. 
Where's the shotgun? Um. Don't. My stored weapons. Okay, shot off shotgun. Okay. There we go. I see. Horse weapons. Horse cargo. Alright, let's go. This is as fast as I can make him go. Nope, he won't go any faster. It's slippery, be careful. Oh, I can talk to him. You sure about this? It's coming from this way. Okay. Mierda, that we're high up here. You're telling me. Drops down here. Watch yourself. Careful here. Ooh, this looks really dangerous. We're pretty high up here. Watch your head here. This guy's a pretty good guide. Okay. I don't know how we heard this guy yelling. It's pretty far away. Stay close to the wall. Well, as if I wasn't going slow enough. Come on. Come on. Why do I need to access my satchel? That sounds closer now. Come on. We're coming, John. Okay. Um. Well, I saw him jump up there. There we go. Our dude's pretty tired. Damn, it's cold. Well, at least he's waiting for us. How you doing? I'm miserable. <laughs> Been a tough few days. I know. Here. Take a drink of that. Thanks. I'm not designed for this snow. <laughs> We're done with that. Let's keep moving then. Come on. John! John, you there? John, can you hear me? John! John, where are you? Nope, he's picking up speed. Marston, huh? I know that name. There's I didn't realize that's who we were looking there. for. Never thought I'd say this, but it's good to see you, Arthur Morgan. You don't look so good. I don't feel too good, neither. <clears throat> Freezing. <clears throat> Don't die just yet, cowboy. Come on, compadre. Well, we can't go back the way we came. Let's try this way. Ain't yeah. you a sorry side. Can't argue with you there. See? I told Dutch you weren't the right man for this. I'm sure you did. Uh, you all right? I don't think so. Come on. Hopefully this will lead us out. Uh-oh. You see that on the ridge? Perfect. Okay. I'll distract him while you get to the horses. Go. Draw them off. Right, Keep John, the wolves away. Let's get you on that horse. I don't, okay. Come here, wolves. We're you Over out. here! Stay calm. Hey! Okay. 
Come here. Over here. Yeah, over here. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> oh, jeez, I didn't hit him. Um, oh, oh, okay. Oh, good. Oh. Reload. There. I'm not happy about it. You gotta do what you gotta do. That was terrible. Didn't seem to hurt me too much. Give me a break. It's my first time using this weapon. Gonna go back to our horse now. There, we'll make the horse do the work now. So, old John Marston there was the star of the first game. New fella got bit by a dog, died an hour later. You ain't gonna die. Not yet. Not yet. These are really good weather effects. Up there? More of them. More. Kill the wolves. Oops. I'm terrible at this. Get out of here! Get out! No! Shit, there's more on the right! More coming in on the left! Ah, damn it. Alright. Oh. Did somebody just fall off? What was that? What did we just run over? Was that a body? What was that? Don't think so. Not sure what that was. Jesus. You still with us, Marston? Just about. You're gonna be okay. We have some shelter now. Thanks for coming for me. Of course. That bullet in Blackwater, now this. You had a hell of a time. Arthur always says, I'm lucky. None of us are lucky right now. Should ride in the water for a bit. Try to lose a scent. Don't want to leave a trail right back to camp. You know, we're gonna need to come up with a better story for that scar. So, freezing, bleeding, starving? Damn near getting eaten to death ain't good enough for you. Here, let's cross to the left. Push hard and get back. I mean, See what did happen to him? Ahead, John. That's where we camped. Nearly there. Pretty much there. I mean, what happened to him? Did he say how he ended up up there? If he did, I, I missed it. Come on! Someone help John down off this horse! This is a nice camp we, we found here. here. Little city. Um... Oh crap, where is everybody? Hello? We got some help! We need uh -oh. some help here! Come on, help him down! Oh, okay, You're there alive. you go. You're alive! Here we go. There we go. Oh. Ay, oh. careful, idiotas! It's his leg! Oh, come on, let's get you warm. Thank you, thank you both. This is a new low, <laughs> even by your standards. Thank you, I think. Thank you. You got any other lost maidens need saving? <laughs> Not today. Have you and Dutch talked about how we're gonna get out of this? I was just discussing with Herr Strauss when the weather breaks. I suppose we'll have to keep heading east. East? Into all that? That civilization? I know. The west is where our problems are worse. Come on, Herr Strauss. Let's get warm. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. <sighs> We've been running for weeks. We found shelter and been resting here in some old abandoned mining town while we wait to thaw. Hardly the spring I had been hoping for. Mission complete. We get strong, we get warm, and we wait. When the storm breaks, we move. But well, we're safe here. Warm enough. I guess. Okay. So, oh, they're still talking. Not doubtful, just worried. We have 
been shot at before, Jose. I don't feel that this is honestly anything new. I hope not. We had a bit of bad luck, but then the storm covered our tracks, so now we wait a bit, and we go back to Blackwater, and we get our money, and we get some more money, and we keep heading west. But we're heading east. For now. For now. We got this. We're safe. Stay strong, Jose. All right, you guys getting talking? What about you, Arthur? You doubt me too? No, I'm just looking for stuff. Good. Because you know me, son. I'm just getting started. Once we get some money, well, they... They better send some good men after us, because they ain't never gonna find us. But we need money. Of course, Dutch. Thank you, son. For your strength. It means a lot to me. Okay. Uh, so... We could bring up our uh, options here. We could bring up a map. And by golly, we do have a map. It's kind of cool. So, ooh. We could back way up here. Um, and I guess that these markers here, Mr. Pearson. Uh, Pearson needs to speak with you. And uh, I guess the, ta the town we're in is named Coulter. And we're in the Grizzly Mountains, I guess. And then old Bill Williamson, he also needs to speak with us. Here is our horse. Here is Coulter, an old mining town high up in the western Grizzlies of Amberino that has abandoned since the harsh storms of 84. I, I forgot that the uh, locations in this game are, you know, imaginary, but um, kind of... Kind of based on real places. Uh, so the Grizzlies are obviously the Rocky Mountains. Over here is the Adler Ranch that burned. Uh, here's some um, rivers. Help progress. Uh, story 1%. Compendium, challenges, and total completion. The story, chapter 1, after a failed robbery... The gang have fled from Blackwater into the Grizzly Mountains, but a late, late spring storm has left them half frozen and starving. They hole up in an abandoned mining town to lick their wounds and await a break in the weather. Okay. And then here are um, missions, and we could replay missions, apparently. Uh, this is um, the one we just did where we looked for John. He had gone out on a scouting trip. And then player. I guess uh, there's Arthur there. Uh, Arthur, general, weight, perfect, temperature, fair, honor. Okay. Your stats are impacted by how you, cure, or how you care for yourself. Eating and sleeping will refill your cores. There's our cores in the lower left-hand corner. Our honor. Your honor will change as you perform both good and bad deeds. As you become more honorable or dishonorable, your game experience will change. So, I can't really tell what this uh, that little symbol means. I don't know if that means we're good, bad, or neutral. Uh, weight, eating too much or too little will make you become overweight or underweight. If you are overweight, stamina will be affected negatively and health will improve. If you are underweight, health will be affected negatively and stamina will improve. Temperature of the weather in conjunction with your clothing can make you too hot or too cold. If you become hot or cold, your core health will drain rapidly. And then there's other stuff here. We've got toxicity and well-being. And then we have some perks that we could pick up at some point, it looks like. Health. Uh huh. And then uh, stamina. Okay. Our horse here. This is... Um, you could rename your horse at a stable. Where is our horse's name? I don't even see where the name of the horse is. Zeke, bonding, health, stamina, cleanliness, mood. Okay. We've also got story. I could save the game from here. And then social club and settings. And then there's also, uh, we could press 
here to open up our journal. So, uh, we have a little map of, um, Blackwater here. And, uh, we have a big X on something. Not sure why. We have been running for weeks. I mean running more than usual. The job they was pulling in Blackwater, robbing that ferry, it turned into a disaster. Okay, so the ferry was the boat that we've heard him talk about. Young Jenning got killed, poor thing, while Sean and Mac both got arrested or killed. Nobody seems sure which. Dutch shot a girl. I am not too sure if by accident or design, and seems like it might have been a setup. We took to the hills in an almighty scramble, leaving money and most of our things behind. There's the train. Hardly the spring I had been hoping for. Hosea and I had been planning a robbery of our own in Blackwater, but I guess that's been abandoned along with most of what I owned. I am profoundly concerned as to what happened, what happens next, once we leave this place or the law finds us cowering up here. Found a girl, well, a woman, I should say. Her husband had been murdered by some of Colm O'Driscoll's boys. Nasty business. There's our journal. So there's a dude here. We can't talk to him. And uh, we can't talk to this dude. Or maybe we can. Greet. Hey okay there, Dutch. Thank you. Thank you for bringing John back. Finally, some relief. He's beat up, but he'll be all right, I hope. Yeah, I hope. So, if we walk up to somebody, we could press L2 and greet them. How you feeling, Jose? You've been coughing a lot. That's the cold. Thank you for bringing John back. Of course. Let's go talk to the lady in here. We'll also uh, search drawers and stuff, too. We'll just, you know, help ourselves to things. Because, really, we're just worried about ourselves, not anybody else. And if we find something, we're just going to take it. Uh, let's greet her. Okay here, this is Molly. Molly. By the fire. I'm fine, thank you. Okay. So Molly's fine. Anyway, try not to work. Okay, Arthur. Yeah, she seems busy. So let's see if there's anything good in here for us to take before we head out of here. Any good stuff for us to search and put in our inventory. Looks like there's a book there. Okay. Well. Yeah. I don't really see anything else. Um, nothing here for us. So, it looks like uh, from our map, which I was kind of hoping there would be a quicker way for me to bring up the map, and there might be. Here's an opened health cure. I can't carry any more of this item. Is that so? Um, let's see. Let me look in my satchel here. I can't carry any more uh, health items. Huh, okay. So if I take this, uh, oh, I didn't see that it gave me any health at all, actually. Um,. Not really sure what that did for me, but okay. You cannot stow all looted items as your satchel is full. Pearson can craft satchels with co increased capacity. Alright. So we can't pick up any more stuff. Um, so like I was saying, I was hoping that there was a way that I could bring up the map quicker. This is uh, first person view. could switch to this whenever we want by pressing the big button on the, on the controller. See if I press up, nothing happens. If I press down, uh, compass expanded. Okay. Regular. Okay. And then just the compass. Off. 
regular. Okay, so we could change our little map thing there. I guess that's Hosea there coughing. So, um, yeah, I uh, wish there was a, I knew a quicker way to bring up my map. But I don't see a way to do it. The only way that I know to bring up the map is to go into options and then choose map. So, yeah, looks like we have, uh, we could talk to Bill Williamson and that'll start a quest and we could talk to Mr. Pearson and that'll start a quest, but we will do that in the next episode because I'm going to end this one right here. Like I said, this game, uh, just went, just went live. They just unlocked it and that was at 11 PM my time. I'm in the central time zone. So it's pretty late for me and it's on a Thursday night. I couldn't have done this on a Friday night. <laughs> but anyway, it's pretty late and I got to get to bed and so I could get up and go to work in the morning. Uh, so yeah, we're going to stop it here uh, off to what I feel like is a pretty slow start. Um, I don't know how interested I am. I guess I'm more intrigued than I am interested wondering who these people are. Uh, I, I mean, it's pretty obvious that they're bad guys if they're running from the Pinkertons. Um, and then I'm curious to know, uh, what John Marston has to do with this. Uh, cause I believe that we play the game as this this Arthur guy, for the most part, that's my understanding from what little teeny tiny bit I've read about this. So, uh, I'm intrigued. Um, I'm not wowed by any means. I feel like I got off to a pretty slow start. Uh, but, uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, let me know if you're playing the game and, uh, what your thoughts are of the first hour of it or so. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this play session. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why don't you let me know by leaving a like or a comment. If you're not a subscriber, Make sure you subscribe so you know when I post more videos. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope to see you again in the next episode.